Welcome back to another video editing tutorial using Caden Live. In this video, we're going to be learning about the transitions and playing with some different transitions. So in the last video, we made this picture slideshow. We have these different pictures that it's going through. We even added some audio, but I'm just going to delete the audio track right now. So I select it and hit the delete key, or not the audio track. I'll delete the audio clip that was within the audio track. Um, so let's look at these transitions. So if you're on effects, you can toggle between the tab at the bottom to get between effects and transitions. But we'll go to the transitions and let's just go to like an, a simple one. Let's do like a slide. So if we drag this slide over here, we can put it over top of any clip we want and it just appears as a little yellow box here. And to get a better view, I'm gonna right click and I'm, I'm gonna delete this uh, video track here. And I'm gonna delete this audio track here. Uh, and then I'm just going to uh, click this button here to kind of zoom in so we see uh, this a little bit larger so it's easier to see. Okay, and then I'm also going to toggle this so that we can see so that it fills the whole timeline. All right, so we have three pictures, three clips, and we applied a slide to this clip. So let's see what happens, what that looks like. If we hit play, so that picture that slides in, we can drag and slowly look at that and see how it looks. So that's what that slide is doing. It's animating this picture and sliding it in. All right. Um, if we maybe you're thinking, okay, well we want that. Let's we like that, but look what happens. This picture disappears completely, and then this slides in from black. And maybe you've seen or you've used other editing software where this will actually slide out and then this will kind of slide so the other picture will be here in the black, the black sliding. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, and it involves using these different video tracks. So I'm gonna delete this slide and we're actually gonna move this video up to over here. And we wanna overlap these clips uh, about the same length. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna, we're gonna use a third track. So I'm gonna go delete this audio track and I'm gonna add in, I'll right click and go to add uh, insert track and let's insert track above video two and let's call it video three. So we're just bringing video three back basically because I'm gonna to wanna to layer this, all three of these. So we've learned in past tutorials, whatever is on the uppermost, the higher number video track uh, is going to be what's displayed first and the bottom one will be last. So as soon as we get to this point, we have this picture being displayed, but as soon as we see these two being overlapped, it'll display the one over top. And we see these, uh, we can actually see through because this picture is not quite large enough. So we kind of see through there. Um, and again, we have, if we look at the properties up here, we have an effect already for doing an edge crop to achieve the look of this picture. Uh, okay, so let's do this. So let's, instead of slide, let's grab the wipe because wipe actually has a lot more different options. So wipe is basically, if you're, you're, look, if you're probably looking through a lot of these transitions, you're like, huh, none of these, I want to do like swirl and I want to do like this, oh, this has to dissolve. But basically, a lot of the transitions you're looking for are going to be in the wipe transition. So we're going to drag it down and put it on top of this clip. And then we see it'll do it to as it'll size itself to be the same length as however much the video is overlapped. And so now by default, the if we click on transitions, click on this transition and see what it is. It's going to do the wipe method. It's going to be linear, uh, maybe from left to right. Let's see what it looks like. Cool. So that did what we wanted it to do, right? It was very quick too. So it just takes this picture and it wipes the over the picture above it over top of it. So we see that's kind of like the slide actually. I think we can even do a slide with this one. Let me see. Maybe we can't. Um, we got like this clock. We can change it to this clock one and that'll look like this. We can change. So to change the method, instead of applying a different transition, we just, it's all under this wipe transition and we could do like these horizontal lines that people like to do. Do, 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 do. So I actually don't do a lot of these anyway. You might think they look cool and maybe they do. This is kind of cool. Whoa. But uh, transitions, you gotta be super careful with them because they can just look, make you look really like an amateur and just like, I don't know, you gotta be careful. I don't, I don't do transitions a whole lot. But depending on what you're doing, so th this is how you would apply a different transition. 
If we want to do, let's let's try the slide again. Let's do the slide between these two. Uh, whoops. So I'm going to apply it to the top video, and then again, you have to have it overlaid first. Because if we if it wasn't overlaid and we just come drag it in, it'll just it'll just make it a, a very long. So look how long this is right now. So this is going to as soon as this video is done, it'll come here and you'll like nothing's really happening. It's just not working right. But so to get it to work properly, we hit the delete key. We want our video to already be overlapping a little bit. And then we drag the slide in. And then it knows, okay, cool. We're gonna slide and we're gonna create a slide transition between this top video or this top picture and this bottom picture. And you can actually do transitions between video as well. These happen to be pictures we're doing, but they could be video. And so now it's gonna slide over top of there and we see it like that. Um, and then we, and then the different options for slide we have is where it's sliding. So this is saying start sliding from the left and then end in the middle. But we could start sliding from the top and then end in the middle. So then it looks like this, slides over top. We could start from the bottom and end in the middle. And if we want to do a slide out, we would we'd put it, we drag the slide to this clip here, so it's on the bottom clip now. And then we'd start, so now it's kind of messed up because we're, we start and then slide, well, it's just not working. But we would start from the, we drag this down, first of all, and then we'd see what it's looking like. But that's just weird. You see what's happening? It's like a, it's showing the whole picture because we're telling the slide start in the middle or start at the bottom and then end in the middle. So it's starting this picture from the bottom and then it's ending it in the middle. But then as soon as it's done ending, it jumps back to this picture. So we actually want to start in the middle and then end like to the right or something. So this way it'll transition out. It'll slide by sliding out and away onto this. So it's kind of a different way to think about it, but it gives you a lot more flexibility doing it this way. And there's actually transparency too. If we wanted to, we can have it uh, start a little bit transparent like that. And then, and then, uh, it'll actually fade the transparency as well. So that kind of creates a weird looking effect, but that's just an option you can have too. So I think those are the only two I'm gonna show you today. We got we just did slide and wipe, but there, but just know that there's some other ones too. And, and a lot of these ones, um, yeah, we'll, we'll play with some of these ones in the future. I actually don't, I don't even know what a lot of these ones do, so I gotta learn them myself. But probably most of the transitions you're gonna to wanna to do are gonna be under this wipe transition, and you've got some different options for you know, cool things that you can create out of that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you on the next one.